We've got quite a straightforward seal life setup here with a, a sugar sieve and a blueberry a lip behind and we're going to try and get everything in focus using the Lumix focus stacking function. It's quite a, um, there's a even though you know, they're quite small objects, there's a lot of distance between the blueberry here and the end of the sieve right up here. Um, and it's impossible to get that all in focus using uh, just one shot. So we're going to focus stack it uh, using uh, multiple images focused at different points that are all stacked together in camera by the camera. So you don't have to do anything yourself. Uh, you can see um, the focus stacking icon top right of the screen. And on the left hand side, you'll see um, I'm using one of the art filters, it's HDYN, which is high dynamic range. Yeah, just to add a little bit of spice to the shot. It's a JPEG, so it makes sense to use all the JPEG controls uh, that you've got, like iDynamic, and you can use highlights and shadow controls, as well as the pitch styles and the um, artistic filters. So I'm just gonna go through the process here. I've set everything up. Um, when we press the shutter button, you can see the camera focuses through the shot like that, and then it works on producing uh, the image. While it's uh, loading everything up there, we can press the blueberry and it goes in focus. We can press that part of the sieve, that bit goes in focus, and we can press that bit of the sieve or the handle of the sieve, and you can see the focus is moving around there. This is just pushing the uh, footage, the 4K footage that the camera's just taken to the frame where that particular item is in focus. So again, that part there is, that's the bit of the, the 4K video where the blueberry was in focus. And then if we ask it to go here, that's the bit of the footage where that part of the sieve was in focus. Pressing the F1 up here um, gives us the options to auto merge or to range merge. If we press auto merge, what it does is it takes all of the focused areas from each of the frames and merges them together to create one picture where everything is in focus. I'll just let that load up. It takes a little while. We're working in um, 6K photo here. It's not just 4K photo, it's 6K photo. So each of the images um, is going to come up at 18 million pixels and the final image will be 18 million pixels. So that's why it's taking quite a while to do. And there's the finished product. As you can see, it's in focus there and up here, as well as down, if we're going to find the blueberry. You can see the little blueberries in focus too. So we've been able to get everything in focus in the one shot, uh, which is something we couldn't do even at F22. We have the option to go back to this picture. We press post focus play. And when that's loaded, we can choose to do a range merge. So if we just pick the blueberry and up to that part of the handle, we press set. Now that's just going to create an image where the blueberry in that part of the handle are in focus. So the rest of the picture should be out of focus. There we go. And there it is. You can see blueberries in focus. The handle's in focus. At the top of the handle, the top of the sieve rather, is soft. So we've been able to control the depth of field, which is very useful.